Okay, for last week's sales, I cut the spinach and mizuna that was in this half bed, and then I reseeded with more spinach and mizuna. And I've got um, two plantings of baby chard. And um, so this one's getting awfully big. So I'm gonna cut that right now. Harvested and kind of half-ass weeded. And a little tub of baby chard. Okay, so it looks like I let the spinach get too big, maybe. <laughs> um, you can kind of see the, the next leaves are coming way up here. Okay, so this is what I've got. I'm kind of liking this red tabby spinach. It's kind of pretty. It's uh, two rows, almost 40 feet. I think I'm just gonna yank it out. Um, normally I'd wanna just kind of seed it again, but I've got these hoops here. I don't wanna yank them out. This is gonna be lettuce next anyway, so I don't even know if I have enough time. And I've got three rows of spinach over here. So yanking it out, yanking out the weeds, hoeing everything, putting the row cover back on. Okay, so this is the fridge that I'm using to store my harvest stuff. And I've got this broken fridge cleaned out and I've got three jugs of ice and I've got more ice freezing and uh, we'll see what the temperature comes down to. I knew there was a little bit of forecast for rain tonight, but then it was supposed to be nice for the rest of the week. But now there's a forecast of rain tomorrow so I think I'm gonna try and get my lettuce um, today, tonight. Um, so this long row here, the back half is the first succession. And hopefully I have enough room in the refrigerator I have or the, the ice works in my old refrigerator and then I have space there too. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, guess what folks? <laughs> Little, little buddy's looking at me like, who are you? Is it safe? <laughs> there's the one little buddy. And there's the other little buddy. Oh, they look and look. Who's that? Oh, they're getting baths. Hi, little baby. Hi, little babies. Okay, I really <laughs> got to harvest lettuce now. Okay, so I seeded these all at the same time on accident. And um, I tried to slow this batch down and um, that was supposed to be the one I've cut first, but I swear, is this one actually bigger? This green almost definitely looks bigger compared to this one back here. Um, I don't know. The red looks bigger here, I think, but the green, looks a little smaller maybe. Gosh, I don't know. It's starting to rain. Hmm. I went ahead and got this batch here and I'll get that batch next week. So I've got the far red and the far green for next week. So I just threw on my raincoat over my summer dress. <laughs> it's all wet. But I thought, why stop? Just keep going. Okay, so I made even more room in this fridge. I've got six tubs total and just stuff, personal stuff stashed here. And um, let's see what the temperature is in this ice fridge. Okay. Um, 
44 degrees. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so the next day, it's still holding strong at 39.5. Uh, these guys are pretty watery with an ice cube in the middle. I'm gonna switch these out and put three more completely frozen jugs and then another three in the center here. Okay, so I've got this band of orange it's been here a long time. I've cut a number of times. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and pull it out to give this basil light because it just keeps growing faster than the basil. And I have this orange that is the second seeding and it's ready to pick for the first time. Just checking over here in this other greenhouse, the orange in this one row here isn't doing quite as well because it's not getting as much light behind the lettuce. And this guy's doing a little bit better. Um, so I'll probably be able to pick from this next week. Okay, so I've got these guys just trimmed back a little tiny bit, the biggest ones. These guys pulled out. And I got just a little bit of orange. I'm planning to just add, you know, a little bit of color. It's not going to be, you know, like a main ingredient in the lettuce mix. Check this out, you guys. This is a deer <laughs> sitting on top of the piles of soil. Are you cozy? Oh, man. Okay, so I'm all done bubbling lettuce mix and then spinach, baby spinach. And so tonight I'm gonna bag those. Um, the restaurant is gone. They're closed for a couple weeks, so I've got a lot more lettuce mix than I would normally have to sell retail. And so I'm thinking that maybe I probably, I'm almost certain that I won't sell everything at the garden on Friday. So there's a community market on Saturday. So I might just sign up for that and just see if I can sell a few extra things. Alrighty, so I've got everything bagged up and I've got 40 bags of lettuce mix, which is like so much. Um, spinach bagged up, I have 11 bags here and I've got the ice jugs on either side. Right now it's reading 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it'll probably cool down once I stop opening this lid. So I was looking this morning at the temperature, 36 degrees, oh, almost 37. And that's still with the old bottles in here. Um, it's actually still quite a bit of ice in there. So it's been hard to know what to do because the weather forecast has been so off. It does say though, this was to cloud up and even start sprinkling at four or five o'clock this afternoon which would be good if it would cloud up because I'm thinking since I have space in the refrigerators, I needed to make room for all the salad mixes. Um, I washed some more tubs and I could harvest the greens and then get those done today. And then I'd be ahead of schedule for selling on Friday. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, while the weather is dry, maybe I will do some transplanting. Using last year's planting calendar, it says that I was supposed to have seeded my sixth succession of Salanova lettuce last week. I don't know why I didn't do that, so I'll have to get to that this week. It says that this week I need to plant my fourth succession of Salanova lettuce, and I should be able to do that along with planting the second batch of green onions out into the garden. Okay, so I've got my green onion patch spaces. It's my first batch. This will be my second batch. I just took the four row gritter, ran along this bed. Uh, these guys have been in the greenhouse on a table and uh, they're big enough. Got some roots coming out the bottom. And so I'm gonna plant here, center and at the corners. 
four rows. All right, so out of the 72 soil blocks, I've got 64 that, even these are a little bit small, but then I planted these ones that were like, so tiny. <laughs> and it's like tiny. And this soil block didn't have anybody, but I put them in there just in case something pops up. There are some big dark clouds threatening to capture the sun. Okay, before I harvest, I put brand new shiny icicle jugs in here and um, holding steady at 38 ish. These are my two freezers that are actually used as freezers. And so I've got my six jugs of water freezing. All right, so I'm grabbing mustard greens, kale, collard greens, and all this kale. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is see how much I can get out of these mustard greens. I haven't put the mustard greens on my online store yet because I'm just not sure how much I can get out of here. So I'm just gonna cut this as much as I can just to see how much in this little patch I could get each week and six bunches of mustard greens. Okay, got the mustard greens. Dazzling blue kale up next. I'm just gonna grab the biggest leaves. Dazzling blue underneath here. Okay, collard greens up next. <laughs> Look at this monster leaf. Okay, so now I have a total of 12 collard greens and that is probably about as much as I'd wanna pull out of that small patch. Next up, I'm gonna grab this full bed of Toscana kale. 12 bunches of kale in this tub and 10 bunches of kale in this tub. One plus a portion of another bed of kale. And um, I definitely could get more than what I got today, um, but I knew I couldn't sell it. So I didn't wanna pick that much more. So yeah. That's kind of how many bunches I can get out of those two beds. Everybody's topped up, up to the gills. Except for, I've got space for one more tub. I've got my late planting of red leaf and green leaf salanova. My basil's coming along. I need to thin these little guys down to one seedling. Okay, dudes. I'm ready to sell. Uh, looks like maybe we lost popcorn and all we have left is fuzzy. The deer always trick me. I see mom with two babies and the next thing I know, I see mom with only one baby and I assume that the bear popcorned one of the baby deer. But I can see with this mama deer that she has a black marking on the side of her face and her baby has a tan forehead where the other two babies had dark markings on their faces. So I think this is just a nursery here. And um, then eventually one of the mama deers moves away and we just see one of them through the season. So will the twins be with us this season or will it just be one little baby deer? We shall see. Okay, dudes, I'm done selling. I have enough lettuce mix that I signed up for the community market tomorrow. Alrighty, I am all loaded up for the market. Not a lot of stuff. The only thing I've got quite a bit of is two tubs of lettuce mix. There's my mustard greens. And it eats a bit of kale. One little bag of spinach I forgot about. <laughs> Final count, I've got seven bags of lettuce mix, I've got three kale and a mustard green. That's it. Not bad considering I had way more lettuce than I expected. And in my empty fridge here, still got the same jugs and it's holding steady at 38. So that worked out pretty good. So I've got a couple of crane fly larvae that I picked up a number of weeks ago, put in this tub, 
um, one or both of them have been eating their food. Um, it's hard to tell if they're alive or dead. Still have a few crane fly emerging from this lettuce bed. I'm not seeing anything really in these greens beds. I'm about to transplant the fourth succession of Salanova lettuce. I've got it uh, raked out four row gritter. And these are my little guys from the greenhouse. And this is the where the fourth is gonna go. I've got my third succession over there. And um, I haven't seen any of them get hit by Cranefly larva. So no, I don't know if it's because all the larva is emerging. Um, it would indicate that I have some still in the ground because my little larva pets are, were still alive and they are still emerging, it appears. But maybe it's just that if it were like really rainy, that's when I saw them first come out the first time it was really rainy and they really started eating, eating my lettuce and killing it in this bed. So with the first and second succession of Salanova lettuce, I accidentally seeded them at the same time. And so I tried to slow down one of the batches so that, you know, I'd be able to harvest the first one the first week and then the next one would be harvested the next week. But they all kind of seem to be ready about the same time. And I think part of it is because, you know, the way I slowed them down was to put the one batch out into the cold and so maybe when I transplanted them into the ground, they were like, whatever, it's cold, I don't care. And so they just kept growing. Whereas the ones I still had in the greenhouse growing bigger, I mean, they were bigger, but they came out here and got planted and were like, oh my gosh, and were a little bit shocked. And so maybe it took them longer to start kind of growing again. And so they just ended up being ready at the same time. I don't know if that's what happened, but it's not a big deal because I think that the lettuce that I cut next week from this bed probably won't be too big. It'll be fine. 60 green, 60 red, and I put um, 12 each extra over here in this extra lettuce patch where the third planting of green onions will eventually go. Uh, yeah, so these guys are almost healthier than um, this third planting of lettuce. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. So these might get mature at the same time. We'll see. New lettuce transplants, watered and covered. The Jang seeding of Mizuna and spinach. This is the second go around. And oh my gosh, how perfect is this? This is the Mizuna. Look at that. The first time around, especially the Mizuna didn't seem to seed very well. But you know what? It might not have been seeding. It might have been that there's some pests in here just gobbling things. So this is just looking perfect. And the next batch of baby chard is coming right along. This will go into the lettuce mix next week. Now that the Mizuna and spinach have germinated, I've got hoops underneath the insect netting. Okay, folks, I'm being attacked by bugs, so I'm out of here. It was a great week. Um, I'm tired, but uh, super happy. Can't believe I sold so many baby greens. See you guys next week.